My fiance has beautiful handwriting. Can't get her to use a fountain pen. What's your best pitch for a fountain pen skeptic? And this is a good one. And the reason, I, okay, I like this question, first of all, because um, I kind of like the challenge. Um, but secondly, because I'm going to answer it in a way that you probably don't expect necessarily. And I'm going to nitpick a couple of words that you have here. You said you can't get her to use a fountain pen. So when I think of use a fountain pen, I think of you're bought and sold on it. Like you have a fountain pen, you are using it continuously, as opposed to try a fountain pen. So. I'm going to distinguish a little bit there, so maybe, I, I don't know the full like nature and intent of your question. It's only 140 characters on Twitter, so I know you didn't have uh, the chance to really give me the full context, but um, you re I, I am of the personal opinion that you cannot convince someone that they should use a fountain pen. I'm, and I know it's going to sound weird with me saying that, but the reason I say that is because people who are into fountain pens are into it for their reasons, not yours. So they have to really understand the value for themselves. They have to make the decision and be bought into it and really fall in love with it. That said, as a fountain pen evangelist, if you will, it's your duty, or whatever, not duty, but you know, it's, it's your role in that capacity if you want to try to get somebody into fountain pens, is to get them to experience some of the benefits of using a fountain pen. And for me, that has to do with a smooth writing experience, so going with a nib that's a reliable smooth writer, um, educating them just a little bit. Once they've started to show interest, say, okay, well, here's a couple of pointers. You hold the pen you know, a certain, this, this way, and you write like this, try and get some decent feeling paper and get them to experience how smooth a fountain pen can feel, number one. And then the second thing is to try to get an ink that really gets them going, an ink color that they like. So for your fiance, if she really loves whatever, purple, then uh, try and use a purple ink. Ink it up if it's a favorite color of you know, or if it's the color, you know what? You're engaged. If she's chosen her wedding colors yet, get an ink that matches one of the wedding colors and she will love it, okay? So that's the angle to go. Get an ink sample, get a couple ink samples of the colors and you can say, you know, honey, you could use an ink that exactly matches our wedding colors. Wouldn't that mean so much? There's your hook right there. So anyway, that's the way to do it is to get people to find an interest in themselves. Me personally, the ink is always what draws me in. And then uh, the smooth writing experience is another thing. And then obviously there's aspects of the pen, the nib size, the personalization of the, you get to choose a pen that feels good in your hand and all that kind of stuff. So, but that's, that's getting kind of deep and that can be kind of overwhelming if you get all into it. Just try to give her a really good like intro experience into using a fountain pen that you know is gonna be positive don't try to hard sell with all of the uh, what I'll call the like deeper aspects of it like don't bust out your pen case of 50 pens and say oh my gosh these are all pens and don't like totally geek out with somebody new because it's entirely overwhelming and it's gonna make them feel like they're not you know, like it's it's either like too much or they don't want to get into it that much or like they're gonna have to learn everything about this to be able to appreciate it keep it really simple you know just get them to enjoy the experience and then if they are turned Turned, you know, if they're, if they're, I was going to say turned on by that, but that's probably the wrong context given your situation. Uh, <laughs> if, if that, uh, you know, is appealing to them, um, then, then what you want to do is you want to go a little bit further, a little bit deeper into the conversation. Say, oh, if you really like the ink, you know what? Here, check, show them the swap, the swap shop on our site. Say, look at all these different ink colors. You can really pick and choose. And you know what? They have permanent ones too. So, you know, and you, then you can get a little bit deeper and stuff like that. That's the way to do it. Don't just blurt out all this crazy information. I know there can be a tendency with someone, if you're, if you're especially somebody like your fiance or significant other, if, if they're like, oh, you're crazy pen thing, if they show any slight bit of interest and you just like completely just like open the floodgates, you're gonna just overwhelm them and it's gonna sh they're gonna shut the door. So just, you know, give them a little tease, get into it and say, oh, well, that's cool. You know, if you wanna borrow a pen, that's, that's totally fine. I've got others, you know, just write with it for a little bit or whatever. Um, but uh, I would think that, you know, if she likes to write a lot, has good handwriting, then you probably, 
you could probably work that out and make it happen. And then that would be the dream. If you could get her into pens too, oh my, then you are definitely going to be in pen heaven because she will be able to, you'll be able to enable each other in your hobby. And <laughs> of course, maybe that won't be a good thing. Maybe she'll pump the brakes just in that way. Uh, but uh, you know, if, if it doesn't happen, that's okay. There's gonna be a lot of uh, compromises that you'll have to make in your marriage. So don't, uh, don't push it too hard. But uh, if she wants it for herself, uh, I think you'll be able to help her make it happen.